What's up guys? We are back with another beatbox reaction video and today we have two more videos into one here two Florida beatbox competition videos the last semi-final between um, Pac Max and Vino then we have the small final between Den and Vino so I wasn't able to get around to the video yesterday so unfortunately I know obviously who loses the Pac Max versus Vino battle because we're watching the small final so that means Napalm versus Pac-Max are rematched from the quarterfinals for the final battle. So that's going to be pretty hype, I think. Uh, I think that their styles are pretty uh, well suited for battles. So that should be an exciting one for sure. So um, Pac-Max Vino, yeah, just kind of like Napalm actually, that their styles are very battle-esque oriented. So that should be an exciting battle, I think. And Den versus Vino, uh, yeah, two Canadian champions head to head in a small final so that should be exciting as well so anyway without further ado let's get right into the battles One, two, ha! searching for a routine i keep searching every day for this jump i need eight in creativity is a way and i push myself i push myself i push and i lose my sense i lose my sense of groove I push and I lose my sense. I lose my, lose my sense of groove. And I push my, push my, push my, push my, push my, push my, lose my sense of groove. I've never heard that routine before. Seems like the crowd did. What you want, Vino? It's really good to uh, solve the yeah. direction. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. I got a secret, I don't know shit But I still got the crowd going, oh shit Pumping now, bits to won't tell one stick On the billboard, I got more in my pocket One trick One trick Cause you way too sweet Book it again close, let me peel your hip Book it again close, let me peel your hip Cause you shit a bad baby, make me go I sneezed on the beat and the beat got sicker I took <laughs> Trade it Just a loop of thumb You cannot escape it Or can you? Everything is alright Just need to get out of there You cannot escape it Or can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Wow. All right, man. That, that was the best Pac-Max round I've ever heard. Like, I don't hear much of him. And I think it's a telltale because I didn't I didn't recognize both of these routines that he used in this battle here. But the, the crowd did. Um, so maybe some stuff that he did before, obviously, it must have been. But, man, that was very impressive. Uh, crazy combinations in that round there. <laughs> Where do we go? Nobody knows. I gotta say, I'm on my way. Down. God gave me stars. God gave me dreams. God put a smile up on my face. And I like that. He also gave me style and he gave me grace. Wow. That was a really sick battle. So I know who wins, obviously, because we know who's in the small final, which will be later in this video. But um, yeah, that was a pretty dominant. Uh, yeah, fairly dominant victory, I think, for Pac-Max. I think that both of his routines are a lot more well-structured, a lot more fluidity, especially, uh, in that, in the, both the routines that he used compared to Vino. Uh, I love Vino's style. I think it's really good for a battle. Um, and he had a really sick uh, technicality in this battle here. A lot of sick, uh, a lot of, uh, sick combinations as well. So it's tough, though, because, you know, when you listen to Vino and, like, this kind of aspect, when you compare it to uh, Pac-Max rounds here in this certain battle... Um, you can tell it's more apparent that Vino had less structure here. Um, almost like came off as freestyle-esque, even though it's probably not 100% the case. I think that maybe some of it was, but man, Pac-Max's round just uh, sounded so full and so well fleshed out and so well structured and so impactful on the key moments as well. So, um, yeah, it's tough. Uh, I think this is probably going to be a 5-0 for Pac-Max. <laughs> Plus de bruit, 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 s'il vous plaît Aïe, 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 Le jury, vous êtes prêts Le 3 en l'air, le public, je vends le 3 en l'air, même au fond de la salle, je vous vois, il fait pas tout à fait noir Hey, ça fait 3, 2, 1, jury Yep, so 5-0 for Pac Max, not a surprise there at all. Well deserved, I think. He crushed it in pretty much every aspect uh, that you can judge with. Um, and Vino had a very good showing there, just wasn't enough to topple Pac Max in those two particular routines that he chose. So let's move on to the next battle here. This is the routine that he used against uh, King and Earthshot. So You're just so fine. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? I would treat you right. Trust me, baby, don't you take me. Don't 
I wonder if I'll do the King Inertia part. Villagers with weed, boom, boom, boom. tell me like obsidian. Boom, boom, boom. The crowd goes wild when I bring it in. No need for diamond tools, cause you're in creative mode like. really good counter round i think from vino like the choice of sounds obviously um kind of countering den's bases there uh, are just using as frequently as his and sounding equally as good yeah just the overall structure from vino here in this round compared to his last battle a lot better i think I wanted you to know Whenever you are around Can't speak I can't speak Jump, 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 To me, let's make it three out on the streets. My enemies step in the middle. It cannot be, it cannot be the one to be under the sea. We wanna be the belt for me. Let's make it three out on the street. Enemies step in the middle. It cannot be, it cannot be the one to be under the sea. He didn't win the BBU. <laughs> React to this, more views than a Maddox analysis. Hey! Oh. Oh. 
Forget to like and subscribe. Nasty, bro. Oh my god. All right. So I think the second round from Dan. Uh, he had great pitch control there. Um, just didn't have much. Uh, diversity i guess in the in the round itself kind of just stuck with the uh the the bass there for the majority of it and obviously the lyrics as well on top of it so i can't remember i think i heard that routine though before somewhere but um yeah by this point at the second round for the small final we kind of heard uh, a lot from dan already in that kind of category of what he chose to use in a second so i wish he kind of came in with something a little bit different maybe something a little bit more a uh, technical maybe tried to go at Vino a little bit in a more battle-esque kind of oriented round but you know stuck in his rule house with the musicality and what he does best so i guess i can't really complain he still did it well uh like i said his uh pitch control is really good so that definitely deserves bonus points but Vino, man, that that round was so crazy. I wish he used these two rounds against Pac Max because I think it would have been a closer battle. I think for sure, maybe it would have been a three-two for Pac Max. I still would have given it the Pac Max regardless. But if, if Vino came in with two rounds like that good, that well structured and like that impactful, um, obviously you couldn't use the diss that he used against Den there, the BBU comment. But I'm um, still, even without that, that probably could have been like a three-two uh, battle for Pac Max. But um, yeah, I think Vino got this five-zero. I think. Yeah, I'm going to say 5-0 for Vino. Un max de bruit pour Danny Vino, s'il vous plaît! Aïe, aïe, aïe! On va tout de suite savoir qui est troisième. Vous voulez qui savoir est qui est troisième? On va faire même une petite non, rem non, remise non, non, non. Des, des prix et tout. Vous voulez savoir qui est troisième? Eh ben alors, il ouvre votre trois en l'air! Bah oui! <rire> hein Ah oui, mais je sais que t'es là tout le temps. J'ai bien vu. Attention à la troisième place du Florida Beatbox Battle 2023, ce sera... 3, 2, Jury SF Vino Yeah, so 5-0 for Reno. Definitely not surprised there. I think he had a lot more impact in that battle there. His rounds were definitely more battle-oriented. Kind of a, took a dig at uh, Den as well, and also countered him quite well in terms of his style overall, especially that first round. Um, but that second round was just the nail in the coffin, I think. It was just such a killer round, such a good battle round, and did exactly what it needed to do to kind of uh, <laughs> uh, rip apart Den a little bit, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, they're close friends, and it's funny that when you watch this battle, you kind of seen them know exactly, uh, like in the first two seconds, they knew exactly which routine they were going for. Uh, yeah, they've been beatboxing together for a while, not as a tag team or anything, but um, you know, just as friends, so they definitely know each other in and out so anyway if you enjoyed what you heard we have one battle left here actually the final which will be napalm and pac max which will almost likely react to tomorrow assuming it comes out if not it'll be monday um but looking forward to that one for sure so if you like what you heard from these guys uh links in the description to both the videos and swiss beatbox channel if you want to support me you can leave a like on this video and uh you can sub to my channel if you want so 